Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this matchup between the Seahawks and the 49ers. Two really good groups of linebackers on the field today, and the game could come down to that position. You know, when you look at these two group of linebackers, I'll tell you this. We, we got groups out there. They're so good athletically. They could be linebackers. They could be strong safeties. They could play tight end. That's how good they can run, how big they are, and how physical they can be in a football game. Michael James is in the backfield. They run the counter play. Safeties now in the NFL have to cover like a corner, and they got to tackle like a linebacker. And that time, the safety came up, and he tackled like a linebacker and stopped that outside run. Ohio. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Second and ten. James got it on the handoff. Tackled at the 18. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage. Look out. They'll throw it over the top. And James is lined up as the single back. Third and two. They hand it off to him again. Now makes the move to the right. He stacked up at that point. When a coach can have a run, it picks up those kind of yards. It gives him confidence, and they will show more and more patience with the running game. So the defense, they better dig in here. First and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. And he's intercepted. Tackles made. Well, that's a rough way to get the game started, isn't it, Phil? Come out and throw an early pick. Oh, it is. It's a terrible way to start for the quarterback and everybody involved. But I'll tell you this. I think it was a terrible call. So the quarterback... When the play's not there, throw it away. He took a chance, and that's why it was intercepted. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Touchdown, Seattle. How about the blocking up front? Let's the running back get in the secondary, and he is so quick and elusive. He avoids the tackles and takes it all the way for the touchdown. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Tosses it to the running back. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. And they have this return completely covered. Tackling them inside the 15. LaMichael James is in the backfield. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. First and 10, LaMichael James gets the carry. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down and a long way to go. In these type of situations, when you're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero, because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. Third and 14. That's an interception. They pounce on him there. Anytime you're backed up on the offensive side, the quarterback's got to be extremely careful, because if you turn it over, you're just giving points to your opponent. That time, a bad decision by the quarterback, and he throws an easy interception for the defense. Hey, hey. 
Russell Wilson has it under center. First and ten. Ball is snapped, and the quarterback tosses it to the outside. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Second and nine. He's looking to the right. He, Dante Whitner picks off that pass. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. First down here. Ball's going to be incomplete. A hit knocked the ball out. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Flip nice hit that Flip time by the defender. Second and ten. Handoff. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Not much the offense can do in a situation like this. Third and long, what you probably will have to do is either surprise them with a run or throw it short and hope somebody can make the play and pick up a first down. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. Michael James is in the backfield. Kaepernick from the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. What were you thinking of? Going forward on fourth down deep in your own territory. You can't do that. up here. First and goal, Marshawn Lynch takes the football. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice change up. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, but it only gets a short game. Second down coming up. Quarterback, quick toss to the outside. Runs it across for the score. Touchdown. Well, that was a good job on that touchdown that time. And I'll tell you, there's nothing like being on top of the other team and make them chase you. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history. And they'll go for that two-point conversion. Another handoff. So, put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. Michael James is in the backfield. First and ten. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. Wide receivers are bunched up. Throws the pass. Completion this time. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Well, Jim, I always say 
It's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good, the defense didn't even see that he still had the football. He throws it down there for a nice completion. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Ball is caught. Tackle down right around the 47. What a job by the running back that time, taking the short pass and getting those extra yards down the field. That reception gave them the first down. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Pass the first down. When you talk about the play action pass game, it's really when you call it. You gotta be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. The wide receiver in motion. First and 10. Forced to the ground. The offensive coordinators just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback, so either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. Looking for an open receiver on the right. When you talk about throwing the football into open space, that's almost always against zone defenses. That's what we saw that time. Good job by the quarterback throwing it in there. The 49ers offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. Play number six coming up on this drive. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Airing it out. Makes the catch. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. <laughs> Russell Wilson has it under center. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. First and ten, Lynch, heading right, he's in the clear, Lynch with an impressive run. Good job by the running back that time, finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. First and 10. They'll stay on the ground on first down. I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. And that time they just got a short game. Running it, it's second down. Trying to get it outside before the defense is set. Touchdown, Seattle Seahawks. 
Keep being aggressive on the offensive side. That's what they did that time. That's why they scored. They kept going after it. for the two-point conversion. Quarterback flips it to the running back. That hurts. The two-point try is denied. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. He steps out. Baldwin's lined up in the slot. Kaepernick's going to take it from the gun. Looking to scramble, and here he goes. Colin Kaepernick had that record-setting performance in the playoffs against Green Bay in the 2012 season. What a threat he is running it. Yeah, he is. Very smart when he decides to run with the football. Knows how to read the defenses. Why? Because that's what he did in college and in 2012. He was a dynamic running quarterback. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. And it falls incomplete. They went for the deep throw, but the defensive back was there. Yeah, good job that time. I got to give the defensive back a lot of credit. He was not caught sleeping out there. He was alert, read the right keys, and he was right with the receiver to knock down that deep throw. And Manningham's lined up now as a slot receiver. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. Catch made by Mario Manningham. Perfect defense call that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Throws to the right. Right on the money. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Lined up in the pistol formation. The wide receiver in motion from the gun. He's looking long. That ball has been picked off. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. The Seahawks come to the line with a bunch set. First and 10. Thought about it, still has it, and the throw is incomplete. You are not going to be an accurate quarterback, of course, when you're under this kind of this kind of pressure. Doesn't even have time to set his feet. Another throw offline. Lynch is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Let's go now to Danielle Pellini, who has the injury update. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Pellini with the story. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a 49ers team official. Anquan Bolden's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. Number 19. Michael James is in the backfield. First down and 10. Looking to the right side and throwing. And they knock him down just a yard away from the first. 
I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Let's go. They're going to go counter. Picks up the first and unstoppable. The 30, the 20, the 10. No stopping him. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. You don't see a lot of them anymore because we have so many good tackling safeties in the NFL. But not this time. That long run goes for a touchdown. It was about the moves and the blocks down the field. Terrific job by the offense. Lining up now for the two. He gets to toss. Got a touchdown. Got a two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do. And you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. They're setting up the return. And he is brought down at the 39. is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Here's the quick toss to the running back. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Pretty predictable call that time by the offense. It's second and short. The defense is thinking one thing. They are thinking run, and they stop it. Halftime is coming up, but first we reach the two-minute warning. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Third and three. Back to the running back. Ball comes out. Recovery by the offense. Well, the offense lucks out this time as they hold on to the football. Yeah, I think the word luck is appropriate here, no doubt about it. Bad fumble that time by the offensive player, but at least they were alert enough to get there and get on it and keep possession of the football. Good job on the ground there by Lynch. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. First down here after the run. They send the tight end in motion. Now first and ten. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Second and seven. Wasting no time. Here's the toss to the outside. He makes the tackle after a pickup of 15. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think. So look out. Play number six coming up on this drive. Tight ends in motion here. First and ten. Gets it again here. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. Offense lines up here. He'll fire it out to the left. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run a route like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. On the way, third down. Flip to the outside. Gain of three. 
Take the points. That's what I'm telling you, Coach. Take the points. You didn't get it done on third and goal. Get three points and keep momentum on your side. Throwing now to his left. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. He's such a smart linebacker. That's one of the reasons why he was able to knock that pass down that time. He diagnosed the play. He saw what it was going to be, got himself in position, and he made it happen. And Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Almost intercepted. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. LaMichael James got a couple. So that's going to do it here for the first half. Seahawks are up here in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Seahawks lead by three. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. down as they head to the line. Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. They bring him to the turf. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Sean Lynch is in the backfield. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Second and seven into the open flat. That was going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. First down here after the completion. Trying to work that left side. No one, nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. You got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback. Seeing him. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. He'll oh. get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. He's looking to the right foot, and additional two points on the board as they convert. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. receivers stacked up on this play he brings it in here and he's got the first when you're behind in the football game all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs good job by the offense 
looking for a receiver on the left side here. That's not good timing between the receiver and the quarterback. The quarterback that time throws it too quick and too far in front to the wide receiver on the slant route. Black round! Black round! LaMichael James is in the backfield. They feed the running back. Well, these plays do look ugly when they don't work. It's, it's second down, and you run the running play, hoping to pick up a few yards to make third down easier. But when you lose yards like this, third long, tough to do. Now it's a third and 13, challenging the defenders to the right side, bringing the play to an end. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it, you throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. First and ten. Getting away from the pressure. He's got a wide open alley. Kaepernick is maybe the best quarterback in the game at running the football. Well, I don't know if he's the best at running the football, but when you put running the football and throwing the football and put them together, then he could be number one in the Black NFL. Rail. Black rail. Man, man, man. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Kaepernick's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Antoine Bolden with the catch. Well, when you're playing this cover three defense where three defenders are playing deep, that's great. You stop the deep passes, but who's going to stop the quick ones? Well, nobody. That's why the quarterback and receivers are having really good success throwing these slant patterns. Touchdown. This game is tight. Good job by the offensive coordinator calling those plays. Leads to a touchdown. They're just... Slowly chipping it away at this lead. Now can the defense come out and help them out? So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. That kick came right at them, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Russell Wilson has it under center. Tight end in motion. First and ten. Running back gets it on the handoff. Not many middle linebackers do this anymore in the NFL. They usually are just runners, but not my man here. He can go up inside and stuff runs with the best of them. defensive backs out on the field for this one on second and nine they'll run it off the toss fights off the hit <laughs> quarters formation here for the defense Third down and eight. Ball's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Looks like they'll go three and out on this series. Bunched up here as they get set at the line. Eyeing that left side. Fan intercepted. In on the stop. What a terrible stop by the quarterback. Nobody's open. Tries to force the pass and look. What's it turn into? An interception. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down.
He sends the halfback in motion. First and ten. Going for the home run. And it's incomplete. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Black round! Black round! LaMichael Black James round. is Black in the backfield. Second and ten, looking for an open receiver on the right. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. There's some shifting around in the backfield. Wide open for the catch. Going to take it home for the touchdown. How about this get? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up the two-point conversion. And the give to Frank Gore. And so they convert it here on the two-point try. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. They crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. down here comes the wide receiver in motion here's the handoff running off tackle he's into the open and it came up a yard short an off tackle run it's a staple of all offenses in the nfl and a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker Russell Wilson has it under center. Second and one. They're going to get him here for a sack. Every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback, and the best person to do it is the defensive end. What a good job that time by him. This should be the last play of the quarter. Third and eight. The Seahawks get a first down. 15 minutes to go, and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. The Seahawks' offense has switched sides now and has the football as we begin the fourth quarter. They've got a first down now after that catch. Final quarter underway now with this snap. Gains maybe five. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Second down. Looks to his left, and he was wide open. 
Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, the quarter route. Some people call it the quarter route. They call it a flag, run to the flag of the end zone, or a seven route. Odd numbers break out. That time they see a nice route by the wide receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. First and ten to the ground here. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just putting his big butt right into the ground. Play number six coming up on this drive. Working that left side, Russell Wilson has his touchdown. Seattle. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when your receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. And a touchback. First down. Throws to the right. And one Bolden with the catch. Good job by the receiver running into that defense through the zone, finding the open space and making a nice catch. Second down now. Wants to go deep. Tough catch. San Francisco, touchdown. What a long, arching throw by the quarterback. So beautiful. See it spiraling in the air and right on the target for the touchdown. Oh, it's a fake. So they get the touchdown, but they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. The receiving team has the recovery. To the running back and the tackle is made at the 48 yard line <laughs> wide receivers are bunched up the wide receiver shifting around in motion second and ten Looking to the right side and throwing. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Off to the pass. 
to the 25. out here in the fourth and the defense is trying to preserve this win second down and eight the Seahawks now move the chains Jim when you get inside the other team's red zone inside the 20 yard line and you're down some points you're thinking touchdown in these situations just two minutes left in this one now back in a moment Defense lining up here late in this one, trying to hold on to the lead. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short game in the red zone. Russell Wilson has it under center. it again they get to him just in time one yard shy of the first down well if you're a good running back when there's not a lot there you find a way to make some extra yards here in the red zone it's even more important play number six coming up on this drive Again, and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage, and you just you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. Come to the line, fourth quarter, with two timeouts remaining. Touchdown, Seahawks. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead, and it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. up now for the two-point conversion toss to the outside so from two yards out they get it across and secure two extra points the 49ers in kickoff return formation The tackles made right around the 25-yard line. Ohio! 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 LaMichael James is in the backfield. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Brought down at the 29. The 49ers are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. He'll go to the left. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. You know, the defense is sitting back there trying to protect. Well, you can't just be that passive. 
you got to have somebody to up there ready to stop the run. they got to do a better job on the defensive side. He's headed right. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. The 49ers are at the line of scrimmage and out of timeouts here in the final quarter. Very nearly intercepted. A tightly contested contest that has now come to a conclusion. Uh, this is one here where you had to just hold your breath because just after one touchdown was scored,